Before we jump into today's video, this is a friendly reminder that today is April 1st or April Fool's Day. So try not to be tricked or scared by anyone. Number 11. Joseph Rosa In February of 2021, an elevator mechanic suffered a fatal accident in the Bronx borough of New York City. 25-year-old Joseph Rosa was assisting a colleague conduct modernization work on the unit inside a Mount Eden residential building. The elevator abruptly gave away and fell on the mechanic, trapping him beneath its weight at the bottom of the shaft. The cause of the sudden collapse remained to be determined following an investigation. According to tenants of the six-story apartment block, the elevator had been out of service for months. First responders were able to pull Rosa out of the shaft, but the man was unresponsive. In spite of chest compressions and other resuscitation attempts, his condition continued to deteriorate. Rosa, who'd recently gotten married, was pronounced dead shortly after arriving at a Bronx hospital. Number 10. Suzanne Hart In February of 2012, Suzanne Hart was crushed by an elevator at the Manhattan offices of the advertising agency where she worked. A maintenance crew had performed repairs on the unit roughly half an hour before Hart's fatal accident. An investigation revealed that they'd failed to follow a number of crucial safety protocols. They hadn't put up signs informing that repair was in progress and had placed the elevator back in service without proper clearance. While the mechanic was working on the elevator, he overrode the safety mechanism that prevented it from moving with its doors open. The investigation found that it had failed to turn the safety back on, a critical oversight that played a major role in Hart's demise. Moments before the 41-year-old stepped into the cabin, the elevator was called to a higher floor. It accelerated upwards with its doors open, trapping Hart's body. Two people inside the cabin watched in horror as the woman was mangled by the machine. The elevator repair company had its license suspended and faced 23 violations, which included a penalty of at least $110,000. Number 9. Samuel Weisbrin in August of 2019, a 30-year-old tech executive suffered a gruesome death following an elevator accident in Manhattan, New York City. Samuel Weisbrin was about to exit the elevator in the lobby of the Manhattan Promenade when it suddenly plummeted towards the basement. Harrowing security camera footage showed Weisbrin desperately struggling to crawl onto the floor. Unfortunately, he was dragged down with the collapsing cabin and fatally crushed between the wall and the elevator shaft. Another man had barely escaped the cabin ahead of him. There were five residents in the elevator as it went down, but they didn't sustain injuries and were subsequently rescued by firefighters. A number of residents of the 23-floor luxury apartment building were left so traumatized by the incident that they avoided using the elevators altogether. They'd been complaining of frequent malfunctions prior to the fatal incident. These included wobbling, getting stuck between floors or doors that didn't fully close. In May, the building had been fined $1,300 after it was found that the safety feature on an elevator separate from the one which killed Weisbrin had been disabled or tampered with. Number 8. Carrie O'Connor In September of 2020, 38-year-old Carrie O'Connor was crushed by an elevator at a Boston apartment building that she'd recently moved into. Located on Commonwealth Avenue, the building reportedly dated back to the 1920s. A neighbor was helping O'Connor moved some boxes into her new apartment. He took the stairs while a woman was trying to move a heavy package into the cabin. The neighbor had reportedly told O'Connor to be careful with the old-fashioned elevator. It worked via a two-door system which, in order for the cabin to start moving, required the second door to be firmly shut. It suspected that the weight of the package had triggered a sensor by fault and the elevator plummeted, dragging O'Connor with it. One neighbor reported hearing an ungodly scream as the accident occurred. O'Connor sustained critical crushing injuries and was pronounced dead at the scene. The neighbor who helped her move had witnessed the incident. He was found in a state of distress, hyperventilating and screaming that the woman was dead. Number 7. Sushila Vishwakarma In May of 2019, an Indian woman suffered a horrific elevator accident at a plastic factory in the city of Vadodara, in the state of Gujarat. 48-year-old Sushila Viswakarma arrived for her shift at 8 a.m. and took the elevator up to the fourth floor, where she was due to start work. 
As the platform started moving, however, something went horribly wrong. The elevator didn't have a roof, as it was used primarily for the transportation of goods. It's unclear if Vishwakarma's headphones had gotten caught in the unit's grill door or if she'd become distracted by her phone and accidentally stuck her head out. The woman got caught in the moving platform and was decapitated. Her body was dragged to the top, but her head was found on the ground floor. While Vishwakarma's death was treated as accidental, the police stated they'd examined multiple angles, including a potential elevator malfunction. Number 6. Nikolai In 2018, a Russian man was taken on a terrifying ride by a malfunctioning Moscow elevator. The man, only identified as Nikolai, was going to his home on the 26th floor of the residential tower block. After he pressed the button, the elevator surged upwards at alarming speeds and crashed into the top of the shaft on the 40th floor. It then free fell roughly 220 feet, which is close to the height of a giant sequoia, and abruptly halted at the 20th floor, likely due to a safety break. Nikolai sustained injuries to his back and his leg as he was left sprawled on the elevator floor. He had avoided more severe injuries due to a split-second reaction of grabbing a handrail. The elevator then accelerated upwards again and stopped at the top. Realizing he might not get another chance to escape, he forced the doors open and got out. He was described by paramedics as being in deep shock, but survived his ordeal. Number 5. Joyden Joe Harris Malaysian teenager Joyden Joe Harris died on April the 23rd of 2020. After he got stuck between the doors of an elevator, 19-year-old Joe Harris and a colleague were transferring supplies at the supermarket where they worked. Joe Harris, who lived in Inanam with his fiancée, was only a month into the job. He used the dolly to transport the goods onto the elevator platform and then to the second floor. Joe Harris was heading back down when the accident occurred. While the exact circumstances remain unclear, the teenager's neck got trapped between the doors as they slammed shut. The pressure exerted on Joe Harris's neck left him in critical condition. A team of firefighters were called to the supermarket and performed cardiopulmonary resuscitation on the teenager. Unfortunately, paramedics would ultimately pronounce him dead at the scene. Number 4. Wu In 2016, a Chinese woman whose family name was given as Wu died of thirst and starvation after she became trapped in an elevator. The incident occurred in the northern city of Xi'an and was attributed to a failure by a maintenance crew to check if the cabin was empty before cutting the power supply to the elevator. The men then went on New Year's holiday, leaving the elevator stuck between the 10th and 11th floor. 43-year-old Wu barely kept in touch with her family and lived alone in the building, which is why her absence went unreported. Some neighbors told the authorities that she suffered from mental health problems, but the claims weren't verified. The elevator crew returned after a month and was shocked to discover Wu's lifeless body inside the elevator, with the cabin walls covered in scratch marks. Several people were arrested and charged with involuntary manslaughter in the incident's aftermath. Number 3. Maria Sanchez In December of 2020, a New York grocery store worker passed away following an accident which involved an illegally installed freight elevator. 39-year-old Maria Sanchez worked for the Food Emporium in Hell's Kitchen. She was at cellar level, loading supplies into a small dumb waiter elevator. When the machine malfunctioned and lurched upwards, Sanchez's head was caught between the wall and the moving platform, causing her to suffer fatal crushing injuries. Her lifeless body was found by other workers in the afternoon. Sanchez was survived by her children, aged 5 to 21, whom she worked two jobs in 48-hour weeks to support. An investigation revealed that the elevator was unregistered and didn't have a certificate from the city to attest its safety. The Department of Buildings issued a cease order for the unit and a violation for the building's owner. Today's topic was requested by Instagram follower Shaka Dragon. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below or follow us on Instagram and reach out to us there. Number 2. Unnamed Taiwan Man In 2017, a man only identified as a lecturer at Ilan University in Taiwan got half of his body crushed in a gruesome elevator accident. He was at the university sport complex when he stepped inside the cabin. The lecturer hadn't made it the whole way into the elevator when the doors rapidly closed behind him, trapping his legs outside. 
the elevator then started to rise, squeezing the man's lower body. Security footage showed that only the top half of the lecturer's body remained inside the elevator, pinned to its floor. In spite of his horrifying predicament, the 45-year-old had the presence of mind to call for help on his cell phone. Firefighters tried for an over an hour to rescue him, but the man eventually succumbed to his extensive injuries. Number 1. Brazilian Family On December the 31st of 2019, four family members died in an elevator crash in the city of Sao Paulo. 47-year-old Juscelina Santos was going up to the ninth floor of a residential building with her sister, Lucienda de Souza Góes, and her brother-in-law, Edilson Donizete. The couple, both in their 40s, were also joined by their 19-year-old son, Eric Miguel. They were on their way to celebrate New Year's Eve when the elevator collapsed, killing everyone inside. While an investigation into the accident was launched, preliminary findings indicated that the cabin had become detached from the cable system. A service elevator adjacent to the one that had collapsed was out of service at the time. Santos was married to a Navy officer, and the building, erected in 1998, was exclusive to military personnel, according to a tenant who chose to remain anonymous. The elevators would constantly malfunction. The doors wouldn't open. They'd stop between floors, and the emergency button reportedly never worked. Thanks for watching. Would you rather be trapped in an elevator as it's plummeting from the third floor or in a car as it's sinking in a lake? Let us know in the comments section below.